Are you a sad and lonely weirdo stuck in the friend zone this Valentine's Day? Well, you're here, so of course you are! Hi, I'm Ski, and today I'm gonna teach you how to get out of the friend zone so that by next Valentine's Day you won't be such a loser. Now you might be asking yourself, Scheme, what makes you qualified to teach me how to get out of the friend zone? Well, I myself am five and two wow. in getting out of the friend zone, but more importantly, I don't give a f if you think I'm qualified or not because you're the sad lonely loser who came to this video for help. So why don't you stop asking questions, you little now, to get out of the friend zone, one must first fully understand what the friend zone is and what it is not. You see, the friend zone is when you're friends with someone and they know that you're attracted to them. Hi, hey friend, I like your butt. However, despite being aware of this, they do not share that attraction. I'm sorry, but your butt is more like a brother to me. The important thing to remember here is that you're not in the friend zone unless the other person actually knows that you're attracted to them and has expressed that they are not attracted to you. If no such conversation has been had, then you're just a pussy ass bitch, which means you're probably in the friend zone, so you'd better stay tuned. So now that you know whether or not you're in the friend zone, how do you get out of the friend zone? They see your butt as a brother today, but how do you get them to see your butt as a stepbrother or stepsister tomorrow? Well, there's two answers to the question. The first answer is, get out! That's right, you stupid dingus. You can't control how other people feel about you, and the more you try to, the less they'll be interested, and the more likely you are to become some sort of serial rapist freak! Or even worse, a Reddit mob! So since we can't do the alpha male approach of psychological manipulation on someone to get what you want because we do not condone absolute nonsense on this channel, what's our second answer? Well, the second answer is, get a life! Hi, are you a loser without a life? Of course you are! It's no wonder that guy or gal you obsess over could never find you attractive. You give them all of your attention, all of your love, all of your kindness, and get nothing in return. Sound familiar? Well, that's because you're a pathetic punk ass bitch who needs to get a life. Getting a life includes finding hobbies that don't include that person you're obsessed with, friends that are not that person, and interests that are not adjacent to that person. By getting a life, you'll find yourself interacting with new people and that person you're obsessed over less and less, thereby becoming far less of a pathetic loser in the process. Don't wait, try getting a life today. Now, some of you might be saying, I don't need to get a life. I just need to do some sort of grand romantic gesture so this person will see that we're meant to be. It's ironic that so many people in the friend zone lack empathy. I want you to imagine right now a person, real or fake, that you find hideously unattractive, repulsive even. Now, imagine you're friends with that person, even best friends. They might have a really cool personality or they're just always around so you just kind of go with it. Now, imagine this person writes you a love song or professes their undying love for you in some big showboating way. Are you suddenly won over? No! You're about to f***ing throw up and you're super uncomfortable, but you probably feel too guilty and bad to tell them to f*** off because they are kind of a good friend and nice to you, but that doesn't mean you want to f*** them. Do you get it now? If you're in the friend zone, you're that hideous, ugly, horrible thing. So make sure any actions you take reflect an understanding of that role and put yourself in the other person's shoes. If you wouldn't want some ugly, hideous, is beast to write you a love song or profess their love to you, don't do it to that f***ing person, you twit! So to recap, make sure you know that you're in the friend zone and don't be a b Tell the person how you feel. If they don't feel the same, then get a f***ing life. Spend less time with the person you're in love with. Find hobbies and become an actually interesting person with your own s*** going on. And I promise if you do those things, you'll either get out of the friend zone naturally, or far better yet, you'll find someone who actually likes you back while you're out there having a f***ing life and becoming someone worth having feelings for in the first place. Happy f***ing Valentine's Day.